Well, I know that you have a second book and it's been published in the UK mm -hmm. and soon, hopefully, we're going to be getting it here in America too. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that second book? Sure. It's uh, very, very different from Stolen. <laughs> so no more kidnappings. No more kidnappings for now. Maybe the third <laughs> book will have a bit more kidnapping. But the second book's very, very different. It's for a slightly younger audience. And it, I kind of think of these books as sort of like the yin and the yang. Stolen is the older, darker, more controversial guy. <laughs> and then Fly Away, which is my second book, is the lighter, younger, happier, positive book. So they sort of balance each other out a little bit. Um, and it's about a girl called Isla, who's a really strong, positive girl and uh, has a lovely bond with her dad, really strong bond and friendship. And every year they watch the migrating swans come in. Um, but this winter, everything goes wrong for Isla. And the swans um, that come in have, a, have an accident and the flock separate. And then her dad gets ill and goes into hospital. And so she tries to sort of make her dad feel a bit better about the fact that he's getting sick by trying to help a swan to fly again. So it's about healing and migration. And there's a first love in there as well. So oh, well, it sounds, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> with, with the swans, I know they're, they're such a graceful, like just the visual yeah. that you can imagine yeah. this, this flock coming around, especially going through such a hard time having such beauty. Definitely. And I could see the sort of parallels between a long-term illness and a long migration of a bird. There's a lot of similar images, whiteness, coldness, flying, flight. And that was quite fun to play with. It sounds to me like like when you are writing um, and, and you're coming up with these themes and you're, you're making the connections, you really are doing it from, like we were talking about, that academic standpoint, that, that critical standpoint. Um, at what point are you able to step back and just let the creativity flow and just, is that a first draft? Is that a second draft? Like, like when do you just kind of open yourself up and just let the emotion come through? Because there is a lot of emotion in your books. Like that's one thing that I had. I definitely noticed right away. Fantastic. Uh, I would say that I, when I write, first off, I, I write for the characters and for the emotion. And it's only later when I'm going back that I start to think about the themes and what I'm doing and what I, what have I actually written here. Um, but certainly the first draft, I'm, I've tried to get as close to the characters as I can possibly get and try to tell their story really. So I hope, I hope the emotion and the character leads me rather than. The, the ideas and the themes, but I hope it's a bit of both, really.